Hello, we're adorable. We are. All right, so um, tell them your, in your super awesome, amazing accent, uh, where you're going this summer. Oh my God. So I'm going to, well, first I'm going to Tampa for a week. Which is gonna suck. But I'm gonna make out with all the statues and have lots of boyfriends. I'm gonna find all of those statues. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna rob a bank again. We're gonna break into the bank. Yes. And go to Pride Night. Oh, that's right. We're gonna rob a bank and go to Pride Night, and then I'm gonna have a whole other whole short story or travel literature to write about that because I wrote about one of them. <laughs> and then, then I'm going to Toledo because, well, I don't really don't know why I'm going to Toledo, but it's halfway between New York and Madison, Wisconsin. I'm going to Madison for a fucking week again. <laughs> And while there, I think I'm going to go sit by myself for a couple hours at Brewer Park. Well, probably going to be two two innings if I make that. <laughs> and then I'm going down to Hope. it's the Brewers. Yeah, it's the Brewers, man. But they're playing the Cubbies. So oh, okay. At least I have a Cubby shirt to wear with my Yankees hat. And then, very confusing. It is very confusing. And then I'm going to go down to Hobart, Indiana and see my aunt and my cousin. And then I'm going to go to Chicago. And then I'm going down to have lunch in Indianapolis to see somebody I knew from Stony Brook. On my way over to Cincinnati to spend a week with some people I knew in college and high school. And then I'm going to West Virginia for two days where I'm going to turn my fucking phone off <laughs> and hibernate in the hillbilly country and go to their, their food market because apparently their market under the bridge is to die for. <laughs> I don't know if that's Wait. nationally to die for or like hillbilly West Virginia to die for. I, I think you may die in the market under the bridge in West Virginia. <laughs> I just might. But the food writer in me feels like I need to do that and compare it to the one in Cincinnati. The which, food market under the bridge in Cincinnati? Well, it's not under the bridge in Cincinnati, but there's this food market there and I've never liked Cincinnati. <laughs> they also charge me a $15 admittance tax on addition to everything else for the baseball tickets. So I bought a third ticket to the baseball game or actually a fourth ticket to the baseball game for, for nothing. And then after that, then I'm going to Virginia and then I have to take the train back to New York for about 48 hours so I can go get a chemo-like infusion and then come back. Hopefully I will be throwing up on Amtrak on the way back. Nice. And particularly since it's gonna be on my dad's, you know, Amtrak points, so. Well, I can throw up on a free Amtrak ticket. I'm not paying for it, so what do I care? <laughs> and then after that, I'm the best daughter in the world and I'm going on another road trip with my parents for two weeks and I'm going to Savannah with them. And they're, you know, they're both almost 70 and my mom has a scooter on the back of the car and they're both diabetic and they have sleep apnea machines. So it's like traveling with robots and they have a little toy dog named Jethro who thinks that he's a person. Uh, you said they had a toy dog. I thought you actually meant a toy dog. No, he's a toy <laughs> rig. He's a little shit too. <laughs> and, but, and he thinks I'm his BFF and he gets very sad when I'm not there. So um, I'll have a toy to play with. And then after that, I have a fellowship at Duke, which is also why I have to go to Madison because I have a fellowship there. And so I'll be at Duke doing research while they're doing, I don't know, during the day, what old people do apparently. Sleep. Inject themselves, <laughs> fight over the drugs, over the TV, or court TV, the volume of the TV. Um, and then I'm renting a bicycle like I do every summer because I told them I don't give a shit. And I'm gonna ride my bike around campus every day and you know, after the archives, mainly to you know, flesh out the memory of reading documents about bovines with pink eye. And then after that, I come back to my parents' house for a couple days, and then I'm going to the really, really rural part of Northern Virginia, near Leesburg, and my friend has a pig roast every year, and she's having it specifically on the 28th of July so that I can be there. And then after that, I'm finally gonna go home and see if my orchids are still alive or if my house sitter has killed them, because every year my house squatter comes and she killed an amaryllis one year. Oh, That's okay. I have pansies out front. I'm, I'm betting money if she kills my pansies. Oh, she's going to kill the pansies. Probably. I'm pretty sure my orchids are going to be like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and, um, We've lived this long. I know, and they've all got great Greek names like Alpita and Onera, and I'm killing my like, hope and dreams. I've had to replace them twice, and now I'm going to have to replace them a third time a bit. And after that, I'm going to go to Denver for a couple weeks. And then school starts again. So there you go. That's three months of Vanessa living out of a suitcase. Pretty much, yeah. That's why I have a very intricate 
you know, legal pad note of what I can take and what I can't take. Cool, 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 cool. There you go, Anessa, super cool friend. <laughs>